Hi, I'm Nick Snow. I'm here with Atlantic Braids. I do business development for them. And we're here on site with NDSM, and we're doing some filming for a new product that we've developed. Doug Henderson, uh, president of Atlantic Braids. We're here today with uh, DSM Dyneema doing uh, something a little different uh, outside the uh, the box, I guess you could say. We're... Once we get around the tree one time, we can peel off a couple guys on the tail end. And, and then after that second wrap, we're basically good. So we drop it down to like two guys finishing two more wraps. Okay, let's do this side. This, this, uh, this type of rope and, and this bridge design is that we brought 30 scouts out here uh, in, with no experience whatsoever. And in just a, about a 15 minute demonstration instructional moment with some adults showing them how it goes. Uh, next thing you know, we had scouts, our leaders, youth leaders stepping up and we're ready to go with this. So we, they only had to learn three simple knots. That is an overhand on a bite, a friction hitch, and a butterfly knot. And, and they were able to, after a very short period of discussion, uh, take charge of it themselves and completely construct these in 30 minutes time, get the whole thing set up. And, and they could do that and, and, and realize the, the, the beauty of their accomplishment in no time, have plenty of time to play on it, and uh, it turned three, out really four. well. One, two, three, pull! One more. Right. One, two, three, pull! Right. Right. Come back. Now come back. Maybe you've got to get the rhythm of, of, of that one. Hey, you're rock, good job. Here you work. Uh, oh, 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 there you go. First catch, there you go. He's out, he's out. Oh, shit. When I was crossing the nylon bridge, it wasn't very stable. It was very bouncy. It was easy to fall on. It was pretty funny. You know, as soon as you took a few steps out, it started bouncing up. <laughs> you're on that uh you're on those nylon ropes it was very Riders. difficult to stay steady it was very difficult to stay on the rope <laughs> you okay yeah. that's right Now the bridge builder 6000 stuff. That stuff, it didn't, it didn't bend at all. It was pretty flat. It's like walking over a steel cable. It's, it didn't bounce. It's nice, it's nice and flat. It's a good walking surface. Crossing the bridge we made with the bridge builder 6000 was much easier than crossing the nylon. Um, our, our factory manufactures rope mostly for industrial purposes and a lot of our business is with uh, DSM's Dyneema fiber which has super low stretch properties and has a lot of benefits in a lot of different industries. Um, they had a lot of fun, all the kids were super uh, and they really did what, what they said they were going to do. They put the Dyneema rope to the test against the nylon and, uh, and they came through. They definitely showed why this product is, uh, is superior and uh, it was fantastic all around. It was well organized. The, uh, the, the beauty of this rope is, is it's very compact, lightweight, super strong and much easier to manage. Uh, they can keep that rope in a small bag and feed it out as needed and set that thing up. It's a great team building opportunity because they've got to work together or it's not going to happen and they're not spending all day building something and having five minutes to play on it. So that gives them a, a lot of learning opportunity uh, with the knots. Uh. Um, I thought with the Bridge Builder 6000 rope, I thought it was much easier to get across and back and much quicker. But then compared to the nylon rope, it was very unsteady and I felt unsafe. And I thought I was going to get hit or something and fall, and which I did fall one time. And it hit me right underneath the lip because it snapped back up. <laughs> So that just shows how like unsafe the nylon rope is compared to the Dyneema. Okay, with the construction of the Bridge Builder 6000 
it was fairly simple at first. We wrapped the rope around the tree a few times and then we were able to tighten it. With the nylon bridge we had a little difficulty with that as the nylon doesn't grip the tree very well and it's very difficult to actually tighten it. And, um, and, and what we were trying to do was see the difference between a rope that stretches and a rope that doesn't stretch. And uh, what really stood out to me as a scoutmaster responsible for the safety of all these boys uh, was the was the rubber band effect of the of the nylon rope and the potential injuries. Sure, and a couple the of injuries uh, we did. bridge crossing today was was an excellent experiment. The the nylon rope is the first rope I was experienced with today. The scouts were going across the rope like they typically do, bouncing a lot. Uh, once in a while, a scout would fall or, or you know loose loose footing and. Uh, Sometimes uh, some of these scouts, um, clearly when the scouts got in the bridge builder 6,000 rope, uh, there was far less uh, movement of the rope. Scouts moved along much more smoothly. Uh, they, they actually were faster. We were timing the scouts just because it was fun, uh, but it was much more stable. And yeah, clearly a, a, uh, an activity like this could even be done at a, at a scout meeting. Uh, the ropes are faster to put up. Uh, the, the bridge builder 6,000 was, was uh, less work to keep up, to keep taut. Um, the rope is so lightweight, easy to transport and move and, and handle. Uh, smaller scouts could handle the rope as opposed to a bigger, heavier rope. Uh, it was a wet day. That rope had no issues like a uh, traditional hemp or some other kind well, of rope would be. Safety is such a really important aspect when it comes to scouting. One of the very first things that I noticed about the uh, Bridge Builder 6000 rope was how it, it actually bit into the tree a lot better than the the nylon ropes. In the past, we've always had a problem with the nylon ropes, just actually getting a good bite around the tree when you when you uh, when you get your uh, when you push it push it around the tree for the very first time. Also, um, we noticed that uh, using the Bridge Builder 6000 rope, we did not have to go back and retighten the rope five, six, seven times a day, which is generally what you ha what happens when you have uh, the nylon rope. Uh, in the past, we've always used the nylon rope and. Uh, it would take so long to set it up, it would take anywhere from an hour, an hour and a half to set it up, and then about after about five or six scouts would go across, you got to set back, re-tighten the rope again, which takes, you know, in an hour and a half you may get 10 to 12 boys across of it. This way you can come in 30 minutes, you can set it up, and you, if we, we, our meetings are typically like an hour and a half, so at an, for the rest of the hour and a half you can run boys across it, just one right after the other. And this is not something that you would do generally, you take a Saturday and do, you could actually do this during an hour and a half scout what we're, meeting. Uh, hoping to see, um, and what we did see today, uh, was the result of using uh, ropes made with Dyneema fiber. Uh, we saw very little stretch, a very easy uh, rope bridge to set up uh, that can be done at a standard meeting within a, an hour to an hour and a half of time frame. They can have it set up, uh, do a team building event, and succeed with it and have a lot of fun doing it. Uh How about everybody say thank you Atlantic Breed? <laughs> thank you Atlantic <laughs> Breed! <laughs> Booyah! 433. Yeah, that's alright. Clip and I'll help you. Feel good. I beat a lot of those guys in that first week. They're pretty slow. <laughs> Wow, there's a little bit of 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 a little bit